Today's video is brought to you by eWin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our eWin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. Ryzen 7000 series. So just like they skipped 4,000, they're going to 7,000. And pretty soon... We're going to run out of numbers. They can turn it up to 11. So in any case, uh, those are coming later this year. It looks like maybe third quarter, although it's probably going to be very late third quarter, like September 30th, third quarter. But AM4 is coming this year. In but fact, Zen 4. Remember when it was Zen 2? Yeah, but you said but Zen 2. And then but Zen 3. And now... But Zen 4. So the title of this uh, live stream is Zen 4 Core Counts to Increase Our Thoughts on the Future of CPUs. Now, those of you who watch this regularly are bound to say, oh, great. Here comes tech with another, you all need 12 cores to operate a computer ramp. 12 cores, hold my beer. <laughs> 16. <laughs> 32. Keep going. It's not that conversation. Uh, we have we have a wild mini deals has joined us. Say hi, everybody. Hello. We just started. I'm in the middle of my speech. Keep going with your speech then. So here's the deal. It's not that video. It really isn't. Many of you are perfectly fine with six core CPUs right now. And there are a few of you who are fine with four core CPUs. And if that's you, rock on. I mean, it is what it is. Some of you are happy with your eight core CPUs. You do not have to throw out your four, your six, and your eight core CPUs just because there's a 12 or a 16 core or a 432 core CPU coming out soon. That being said, this conversation is about why AMD had better start increasing the core counts at the various levels of their chips, which they have not done to at this point or they're going to get left behind by Intel. And here's where it gets interesting. For those of you who have been following the tech space, Intel is readying their 13th gen or Rocket Lake CPUs, which are due out later this year. The i9-13900K will be 24 cores and 32 threads. Yes, that's a weird number. It's still 8P cores, but it's now 16 E cores. 16 E cores. Well, 16 plus 8 is 32. Uh, no, it's 24. 24. <laughs> I'm like, uh, hang on a minute. There are too many numbers. Okay, quick side note. We are in the midst of the core wars. These will not continue. There will come a point at where these things have so many cores that they stop advertising cores and they will come up with something new. We used to have the megahertz wars. 20 years ago, the big thing is which company was going to hit one gigahertz first. And it was AMD, actually, that managed to release a one gigahertz Athlon before Intel got their one gigahertz Pentium 3 out. The Pentium was stuck at 933 for a while. They eventually got it over. In fact, the, the top-end Pentium 3 was eventually a 1.4 gigahertz Pentium 3, but it wasn't released until way after it mattered and Pentium 4 and everything else had come out. You'll be shocked to hear over on my retro shelf, I have a 1.4 gigahertz I'm going to butcher the name, Tutelin, Pentium 3. I'm probably saying that wrong. The, the code Pentium names, 3? Yes. The code names back then were totally different. In any case, back then, 20 years ago, it was the uh, clock speed wars. In fact, even yeah, 30 years ago, true. 40 years ago, it was the clock speed wars. It was also well, actually, I guess, 40 years ago, it was the bit wars. We have an 8-bit CPU, oh, well, we have a 16-bit CPU, we have a 32-bit CPU, and then Atari famously came out with their bloody Jaguar commercials, which, you know, in some regards it was pretty cool, but in other regards it was terrible. Nintendo is 16-bits, uh, 3DO is 32-bits, Atari Jaguar is 64, do the math! And then, of course, the Jaguar launched and the games came out, and, um... And um, very quickly, everybody learned that bits aren't everything. And then the Dreamcast came out. It was oh. 128 bits. It wasn't, 
But, you know, they advertised it as such. It was a, a, several chips if together. If you stack it. Well, if you take the 64-bit Hitachi CPU and the 32-bit control CPU and the 32-bit sound That's CPU. That's like, together we have 50 years experience. If you get 50 people with one year experience each, That's you have 50, 50 years experience. Years. Exactly. That's not the same as one person no. with 50 years experience. It's not. <clears throat> so, this is not about... Oh God, you have to throw away your trash CPUs because 16 cores is the future. It is the future, but not today it's not the future. It, Tomorrow? It, well... Are we going back to the future? No, it's... I am fully aware of the fact that plenty of people are perfectly happy with their current CPUs and they don't need to replace them tomorrow. The dude in chat who's fine with a Core 2 Duo, you're messed up, dude. That That's... No. No, Bob, you have a retro computer and don't know it. Mm. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly. They have something for every type of gamer, not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.